Hey, what is up everybody and welcome back to the quickest intro you will ever be introduced to. So we are just going to crack on with <laughs> the, the next episode of Red vs. Blue. I mentioned in the community post that this was supposed to be the next Cthulhu, um, Call of Cthulhu um, D&D game video that literally the 12th of March was the last time I put one out. But I'm having such trouble rendering it because it, there, there is a piece of or multiple pieces of corrupt uh, video in there and I can't find them so uh, it's currently quarter and nine at night and I've just got back so I had to really quickly make a video and this is probably the quickest video that I could make of rip uh, of course I know a lot of you won't be bothered because I know a lot of you enjoy these red versus blue videos and I'm happy to make them but without further ado let's get on I cannot wait hopefully we get to see who the person is that's been stalking our guys and yeah it's gonna be fun. Let's go. Let's go. Nice save, Sarge. Very convincing. Die, <laughs> <laughs> such a dope. A uh, random dead guy on the floor. Random guy running in the background. Oh, it's a the fuel hey, station. Uh, I'm not really from around here, but uh, do you know about that crashed spaceship? Spaceship? Yeah, I just dropped off a couple of guys and saw it in the middle of a canyon. It's big, like really big. No, I can't say I've heard of it. Mm. Really? Oh man, I mean, someone should report that, right? Well, that's up to you. Yeah, it was pretty bad. You got a phone I could use? Sure. Right behind you. What's with the creepy kiosk guy? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Alright. Just so you're aware, no one's gonna find your ship either. Who is this guy? Oh, it's Locus, of course, but. Returning to crash site Bravo. I should have guessed that one. <laughs> if you let the man do his job, then maybe we wouldn't be in this mess. Hey, Tucker, what the fuck is this thing? It's a gravity lift. You step in it, and it takes you upstairs. Well, I know it's that. What the fuck is it doing here? It's glowing and going... Simmons, you're swearing a lot more than I remember you usually swearing. Survivors of a shipwreck. I like it. The bare necessities, and in the middle of the room is this incredible feat of modern-day technology. I don't know. Wash found it on the ship, and so we put it in the base. What's so weird about that? It's like finding a car made out of rocks, plastic, and a blue I love it. Did you mean bomb, Andy? Oh, piece of shit. Oh, fucking and no, no. He's still alive. You have a direct line to a limitless power supply? Well, no, we'll definitely run out of fuel eventually. Just not anytime soon. So who cares? Take as much as you want. God bless the American way. What are you gonna do? Just a side project. Hey, Caboose. I've secured the perimeter. No bad guys to be found. Excellent work, Commander Washington. I love this. You could be the leader of Blue Team. Yes, maybe someday. Now, I have a very important question for you, Washington. Okay. Um, do you think Freckles would look silly in a hat? Possibly a sombrero. That's where that came from. All right, one of you guys commented that the other day, and I was like, the Freckles would look absolutely adorable in the sombrero. <laughs> That's where it's from. <laughs> It would boost my morale, to be fair with you. It'll probably deter the bad guys from shooting them. Fuck off, Andy. Holy shit. It's actually them. 
Who are you? That's like the third one we've seen. Is that guy in the orange, the one that's just turned invisible, and then what was it, Locust or whatever? I think he was a different guy. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Hey, did you guys ever watch Lost? Shut up. All right, men. Man out and see what you can find. Remember, we're hunting the most dangerous prey of them all. Man? What? No. Giant robot. <laughs> oh, yeah. Man. Everything kills man. Man's way down on the list. Right between koala and retarded koala. <laughs> man. Man. Uh. I'm so easily amused with the most childish things. What the fuck? What is that? Is that a bomb? Huh. Or is it a Ow! Boosh! Headshot! Griff, what the heck, man? Now don't be a bitch. What is this? Beats me. You wanna try? There's a whole bunch of them in the corner. Uh, I'm not sure. You know how I feel about firearms. Come on. They don't do anything. They just stick. Well, let me think about it. All right, that beeping is definitely getting more uh, more frequent. Okay. Hey, this ain't a tea party, milk skulls. Get rid of those toys and get back to work. Fine. Oh man, and take that stupid thing off your head. Okay. It's gonna like explode when he chucks it. Cool. You better not be breaking things down there. Well, you just saved his life, Sarge, and you don't even know it. He was a lot of or maybe he does. Weaponry, maybe it was all premeditated. That it is. That stuff? Uh, looks like most of it was on the other half of the ship. Boo. But there is one prototype that was kept here. Yes. The fuck are these? Looks like some kind of weird grenade. Or it could be a Rubik's Cube. I don't know. Huh. Ah, what are you doing? Trying it out. What it looked... Okay, I don't know what this thing is, but it looks cool as fuck already. I don't know what it is, but uh, it, it kind of looks like if, if you guys have ever played uh, Bloom Tower Defense 6, one of the, the towers that you get sprays little tacks, and if you upgrade the top tower, you get like, little bombs, like little um, spiked bombs instead, and they kind of look similar. Whoa. Just blowing things out of existence. Oh, came back. Yeah. Be careful. We don't know how they work. What do you mean? Throw another thing, thing disappears. Throw another one, thing reappears. I could keep an entire buffet in the palm of my hand. Really? That's what you're excited about? Man, upstairs. Now. Come in. Oh, hmm. I am taking these. They're ever going to come in incredibly handy at some point. Or the complete opposite and he's going to get somebody fucking killed. <laughs> My dog's crying. Um, yeah? Well, boys, I got that. Sarge, what have you found, man? Show me. Oh, that's a big boy. Pineapples. Go to safe word. Washington. Agent Washington? What the hell is he doing here? Doesn't matter. Let's just dismember this beautiful lady, pack her up, and take her back to our lair. I mean base. Could you please stop referring to the robot as a woman? It's really weird. Not as weird as the throb and erection she's given me. Oh, uh, well, yeah. You know what it is. Everybody has their own kinks. Who am I to judge? Although I don't know what 
you, you can do the sex with it. That's fucked up. What are you doing? What is he doing? I don't like this. Don't make Caboose upset. He just got happy again. It's the future. Where the hell have you been? I've been doing what I can to keep us alive. Oh, really? Then where were you when Freckles tried to kill me for calling his tiny hat stupid? <laughs> I thought you didn't need me protecting you, Tucker. Hey, guys. I'm trying to revolutionize the world of inner canyon communication. So if you could just keep it down, that'd be great. What is he talking about? I'm talking about the internet. <laughs> Simmons. <laughs> oh my god, everybody leave. Everybody leave right now. There's something I got to do. The internet? Seriously? You're going to see some shit if you don't leave. Well, I I I could I could see that. I could well imagine. Communication are red and blue base. Why would you lie to us like that? You put one of these at red base too? Yeah, I had to sneak past Freckles, but it was totally worth it. Why? Behold. Facebook? Yep. God right, damn it. <laughs> Glad to see you spent your time in captivity on something meaningful. So you made it. What now? I'm glad you asked. Let's see what Sarge is up to. Well, has he updated his Facebook status? Hasn't set up his profile yet. I wonder why. Uh, that's cool. Uh, I'll just wait for an update. Yeah, I'm sure it'll come eventually. He's got to have an update. <laughs> Updates. <laughs> you know, maybe you should go outside for a bit, Simmons. I'm sure Caboose wouldn't mind if you got some fresh air. No, no, it's all good, really. Uh, besides, I can save Sarge some time and make a profile for him. Yeah, that'll be fun. Uh, I'll make a post about it, too. You know, just so he knows. <laughs> but how, Hope you like the new blue how will he know? Really work your magic. How is he gonna log in? It makes no sense. Yeah. He looks so cute. Hey, Wash, could you take my picture and then tag me in it? Because, <laughs> you know, if I do it myself, I'll just look like one of those losers. <sighs> Wash, she used to be a freelancer. The oh, best of the best. Hey, Donut. Oh, it's you guys. What took you so long? It's not exactly easy transporting several tons of robot in a timely manner. I think Griff even dropped a bunch of pieces along the way. There's a difference between dropping and abandoning. What? Drop pieces? Roof. If I find that a single screw is missing from this death machine, I'm gonna beat the living pulp out of you and then drink the remaining orange juice. Because I like my dead men pulp free and with extra calcium. Oh, I thought. Oh, never mind. I thought the boxes were moving for a second there. several feet of armor plate. Giant robot fight, here we come. This is gonna be awesome. Fighting fire with fire. Good idea, Sarge. I still say we just trap freckles in a future cube. You actually took one of those with you? Technically, yes. But actually, no. It's nice. A cube that makes more cubes? No, they teleport stuff. Watch this. Fuck you, Cone. What did you ever do for me? Whoa. Nah, I'm just kidding, Cone. You can come back. Ooh, they're like Pokeballs. They are like no, Pokeballs. Like little homes inside of them. I could see that being a thing, to be fair. He throws it at Freckles, Freckles gets zapped, and then we throw the cubes in a volcano or something. Why do I have to do it? In case it doesn't work, I want to be alive. Makes sense. But we still don't even know how the teleportation cubes work. What if they're extremely radioactive? Or what if they only work on inanimate objects? Uh, robots are objects. Hey, you're gonna hurt some feelings here. Don't ever talk like that in front of a robot. Hey, oído la palabra robot me has llamado. Poor Lopez 2.0. Or 
test this thing's primary defense systems. What do I have to do for that? Just stand still and wait for the sweet embrace of death. Okay, yeah. I'm leaving now. Ooh. I don't know, that second one sounds kind of fun. What? Oh, Doc, you're gonna love it. You should see the photo Kafus just uploaded. It's hilarious. Suspiro, otro robot, K original. Hey, Hasa Oido, I'll go. Yeah, you. Who are you? So he's helping them, but the other one's trying to kill them? Why even try? Yeah, he got screwed. Bless him. Breaking the fourth wall there a little bit, I love it. How many friends do you have there? Four friends. 100, 120 photos already. God damn. 69 entries. Very nice. I love it. Gotta have an ad in there. Of course. Of course. And the guy's even got four updates. Look at that. So, who uses this? Mainly just Simmons and Caboose. Oh, wait. It looks like Sarge has a profile now. <laughs> like. And you just talk about yourself? You can post pictures and stuff, too. I've been downloading this picture of Freckles for a while. How long hmm. have I been going for? Eh, just a few hours. Have you spent hours of our limited energy just downloading a single picture? It is a very high quality picture. Well, you can't argue with that. You really can't argue with Sombrero Freckles, no, can you? I cleaned this base from top to bottom. It was the least I could do to make it look more presentable. I did the dishes, swept sand off the floor. Wow. Did you clean Griff's room? Griff has a room? Well, he and Simmons shared that side of the base, but Griff's stuff kind of overflowed onto the roof. Ooh, let me take a peek. If you get a, if you get <laughs> gets ten thousand likes, I love it. Facebook will pay for a rescue team to come save us. So lucky. I know it sounds too good to be true. Dexter Griff. Is he just wasting them? Not me. I've determined that the teleportation cubes are still fucking awesome. All other data's been inconclusive. Griff, I really think we shouldn't be messing with these. They could be dangerous. We can't just keep throwing them around all willy-nilly. Give me that. Hey! My stuff! Nice arm. There. Yeah, I was gonna say, that was... That was good. That was, that was super high on that building. But what would happen if you chucked it at, like, an actual, like, living being? Yes. What are you doing? I'm fixing the radio by beating it with the butt of your rifle. It worked for you, but that was... You know what? Why don't you just come over here and do it yourself? Okay. Try connecting the antenna port to the amp. What? 
If you increase the input voltage, that will just fry the radio. But if you were to transmit through an amp... All I hear are words that would get me beat up in high school. Tucker, I'm being serious. Oh my god, stop the fucking presses. Agent Washington is being serious. If you just listen to me, you could do this. Well, I don't want to do this. You ever think of that? All I want to do is stand around and talk to my friend, but he's gone now, and all I've got is you. Well, damn. It's fucking bullshit. That, uh, you know I was one of the worst freelancers in my squad. They got real deep for a second there. There's Agent York, our security specialist. Agent North, the sharpshooter. Carolina was an expert in martial arts, and Tex was... Well, you know Tex. Cool story, bro. I was known for getting a grappling hook stuck to my balls. Okay, where are you going? <laughs> Church was your leader for years. You guys knew each other inside and out. Dude, don't phrase it like that. But I'm new to all of this. I've never really had to lead anybody before. But when Church and Carolina disappeared, I didn't have a choice. I had to try. Well, there's your problem. You tried too hard, man. I mean, Church wasn't the best leader ever, but he never made us run laps or do push-ups or anything. He just took the blame whenever shit went wrong. That was pretty much it. Well, guess is what any good leader does. Low on food and have to do whatever Caboose tells us or we'll be killed by a robot. Sounds like you really fucked up. Yeah. Kind of looks that way. But I guess you weren't really our leader when the ship crashed. So you don't have to take the blame for that one. Whoops. Sorry. Knocked the cable out of the wall. Hope that wasn't important. Yeah. I'll take some of the blame. <clears throat> Whatever. So are you gonna fix this? So does everyone just have a hand and like bring in the ship down or something? <laughs> now it's just not working. So God really damn. Pretty um, important I stuff. I need you guys to go back to Blue Base and kind of clean up. Clean up what? Garbage, a robot parts, it grows stocks all over. It, uh, Simmons. Yeah, uh, Simmons actually won't stop rocking back and forth in the quarter, and it's kind of, uh, kind of freaking me out. And you're sure you mean Blue Base? Do not question your commanding officer. Yes, Freckles, don't worry. Uh, I never realized I needed those two guys in my life. Fucking beautiful. I need you to head back to base and do what you can. I'm going up to the ship. You're leaving me again? What the fuck do you need to go to the ship for? I found something. I just need you to buy me some time. Why? What are you going to do? Hopefully. I'm going to put a stop to this. Who are these people? Man? Were these sent out by the the, the count the counselor or whatever that guy was called? They uh. They they look way more more competent than our guys, except the fact that he's walking, staring through the scope of his gun. For no reason. Well, is that like a mid-season finale or some shit? On Espanta Pejaros, se fueran a pasar el rato con todas las verduras. It was not the best indeed. Come over here and give me a hand. I always gotta get on my knees to work on this thing. But I figured it'd be easier if you just held it at chest level instead. Si, senor. Espera. 
Hey, una cosa acerca de esta gente que no me gusta. ¿Qué? Sargento, ¿por qué no quieres que se siente? Miedo podría traer de vuelta. <laughs> oh, Lopez, you old kid are you? Now, come on, time's wasting. Oye, Sargento, ¿puedes? <laughs> oh, now don't tell me he's got you in on it too. <laughs> Lopez, you are rambunctious. You can definitely tell which one's been around them, like, way more. One of them cracks a joke at the fact that Sarge's been sucking some dick. And then the other one's just like, yeah, now you stink. It is a lovely day, isn't it? Y no es inteligente. Thank you for noticing. I have been hitting the gym. Tu madre es tan gorda que utilas un escalade de Richter. Y ella es una puta. Oh, God. No, never mind. He, he got up. Like a couple of three stooges. Well, whenever you two are done goofing off, head on over. He went up a few stages real quick. Quédate conmigo, chico. Y te ir a bien. Here goes nothing. Agent Washington. I didn't see you there. Man, for a behemoth, you hide really well. I was just off screen. But I was on my way up now, ready to clean the base. You lack diligence, Agent Washington. What? You question authority, Agent Washington. Oh my god. Caboose, can you come out here? You must be eliminated, Agent Washington. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm sure that's what it is. Definitely has nothing to do with the fact that he wants to save his own skin. Good. Hello. What seems to be the problem, Major Washington? <laughs> I'm sorry, Caboose. I'm sorry your best friend left you without saying goodbye. Maybe he thought you would try to stop him... Or maybe it was just too hard for him to tell you, but no matter the reason, he's still gone. He left you. Both of you. I don't really do emotional things. And I hoped you might be able to get over this by yourself, so I left you alone. And instead of coming to terms with what you lost, you replaced it with, well, the first thing you found. A giant fucking cool kick-ass robot. Because... That's what friends do for each other. Captain Caboose is not your friend. He is your commanding. Uh... No, we're, we're all friends here, Freckles. And, you know... That's right. Hmm? And as your friend, I want to say that I'm sorry. I know it's not much, but... I made you this. Freckles just steps on him. Captain Caboose, you should return to your duties. I know how much you like Freckles, Caboose, but you have to understand that he's very dangerous. He's not a puppy anymore. A kitten? A kitten? Yeah. Or Whatever you thought he was. He's really big. Yeah. He built up a car. <laughs> Remember that. It's time to put you down, little buddy. Let's take you outside. That is saying something because I have been friends with a It'll lot take you to that days. big farm. But from now on, I, I, I think you should listen to Agent Washington. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, he's very smart. Really nice. Uh, I love Caboose. as much fun as it looks. Yeah, I think I'm more of the dashing second in command kind of person, you know. I'll I see that. Work. Thank you, Caboose. 
<laughs> the fuck do you even come from? You have turned off your helmet. I think you still need to work on your craftsmanship, though. Oh my god! I'm blind! One step at a time, Tucker. Hey, get, get people see me! Uh, <laughs> well, at least we don't have a killer robot to worry about anymore. Well. <laughs> Listen to that lady purr. Nice work. Sarge. That's a. Nice work. It looks like shit. It's half That's a fun. big girl. And it's on fire. Yeah. It turns out we were missing some. Oh, it's a smaller girl. Nice. How small is it? I'm making orange juice. Girl. Every time getting a jump on the flu season. Good thinking, sir. Wait, that's a thing? Cyclops online. Huh! I knew she was a beautiful lady. Cyclops? That's more like a praying mantis to me. No, she said CC Cyclops. I think it's Italian. Error. Hardware malfunction. Welcome to Red Team, CC. Now if you can Enemy soldiers detected. Uh I don't think so. Negative. Motion tracker detects 16 hostiles. There's 16 people staring at you right now. I'm a pacifist. Kill them. Hey. Okay. There's 16 people. I can't tell out of the 16 if they were referring to the reds as well. Which means we can knock four of them off. Making it, what, 12? And then we've got the blues, which is what, Caboose, Tucker, Simmons, and Wash. Which is another four, so there's eight. We've got the four that came with that other guy, which makes it four. And then that other guy that was there that said he wanted to help, and then the one that was turning invisible, but I can't tell if that was the same person as the person that asked those guys. And even if that is all true, I'm fairly certain there's still like two more people that I don't know. I'm just gonna continue the show. I'm hurting my own brain trying to think of this. Damn! She ran out of diesel. You converted it to diesel? Of course. Looks like she needs a bigger fuel tank. Fuck that! She needs to be thrown off. <laughs> I don't see how that's gonna solve the fuel problem. Hey guys, there's eleven of us in the canyon. Mm -hmm. Wow, donut, that's one more than ten. Good job, buddy. I don't know if I'd really count Lopez, but she said. Oh, uh, so yeah, I didn't uh, Lopez. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, I I didn't count the Lopez's. Says. Why are you not? <laughs> Stop shooting! We're friendly. That's the opposite of what I said. Fuck this. Oh, nice one. We don't know who they are. They're the guys that are going to kill us if we don't kill them first. Freckles, take them out. Engaging targets. Why would you stand in the open when they have a giant fuck off robot? Okay. That makes you the real deal. So the invisible one is that guy. All right, good. Really confused. Quiet. All of you, come with me. And why would we do that? Because if you don't come now, I'll have to take you later. Fuck off! You. Who is that? And be glad I missed your head. Oh my God, you are such a douchebag. Yeah, what he said. This is your last chance. Freckle. And now he's gone. Holy shit! Did you see that? No! What happened? Please describe it to me! Use only small words! Um, 
Oh, right. Yes, of course. That's why fucking Caboose is... Oh, I'm such an idiot. I've completely forgot his fucking helmet turned off or just isn't working anymore. You couldn't see. All right. It is now. There. Come on then, we land that episode there. Yeah, I'm a complete idiot. I completely forgot, even though I just saw it not five minutes prior, that his helmet was turned off. That's why he thought it was fireworks and it was somebody's birthday. Then that he was just walking plain as day in front of everyone. His fucking helmet was off. Uh, but yeah, interesting. So we've been introduced to two new guys. One of them seems to want to help them for whatever goddamn reason. The other one. <gasps> Nah, nah. I was, I was gonna say, maybe, may, maybe. Because one of the freelancers, and I can't remember which one. Was it York? It could have been York. Maybe not, I can't remember. Could make shields. And that guy just made a shield. It'd be pretty goddamn cool if one of the freelancers survived. Although I really think Agent Washington would probably recognize his voice, so I doubt that is what it is. Um, But yeah, awesome. Two new characters that we get introduced to, finally. I think we only have like half an hour left of this season. And then we're completely finished. So there, there's going to have to be a lot that's about to happen in this last half an hour. Which I'm super, super excited for, of course. And uh, yeah, hope you guys are as well. But yeah, Agent Washington's back in charge. Thank God. As much as I love Caboose, he does not make for a good leader. He, he, he would have 100% let Freckles murder him. And not even realize what he did wrong. Poor Freckles, man. You would have probably had to put him down. <laughs> yeah, anyways. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this episode, please do leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It does help massively, and I do massively appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next video. Yeah. Goodbye.